Drama is one of the stupidest things I've ever dealt with as an internet genre. I'll be touching up on multiple fucking informatics I've noticed this week. Number 1. Dr. Disrespect He was exposed for being a pedophile who talked to an individual minor on Twitch Whispers. Still, many people didn't believe it due to the lack of evidence. That's okay to believe, but he admitted to the messages being real. In my personal opinion, a grown-ass man talking to an underage person should not have drama surrounding it, at least after the moment it is confirmed true. But no, now we have retards out here claiming that the girl was 16 or 17, meaning it's okay, because the age of consent is 16 in some states. First of fucking all, no, it is not. Any sexting and potentially inappropriate images sent fall under federal law, which is 18 in the United States. Second, this is probably the most essential point. You are not an adult if you are under 18. I said this in my MV video, and I'm not going into much more detail. Even if the girl was 17, of which there is no proof anyway, Dr. Disrespect is still a pedophile, and he should still be deplatformed. Next, two Roblox YouTubers. I like clashed heads. Before I go into more detail, I will exclaim that I am not taking any sides. I understand that this does not concern me in the slightest. Now, these two people are known as Ruben Sim, who just recently had a motorcycle accident. I hope he recovers from it. The other party is Gone Fishing, who made an hour-long video exposing Ruben for a lot of shit. I watched the entire video from start to finish and saw the Twitter threads. I can admit that Ruben, although a person with good intentions when it comes to saving the Roblox community, has done some pretty fucked up stuff. However, the video is nigh meaningless propaganda, spinning people into believing a particular narrative. The only valid point in the 66 minute long flick revolved around harassment that Ruben facilitated towards gone fishing. Otherwise, there are a lot of fucking reaches claiming that Ruben is a right wing dog whistler because he uses BitChute to archive videos and makes edgy jokes that he obviously does not mean. Gone Fishing also takes his time out justifying porn. What I just said might sound absurd on paper, but let me explain. He has a girlfriend who draws almost anything for money, which was told by her in his video. It is not my inclination to ask her to flat out stop drawing NSFW. I'm just a random ass motherfucker online. But there are multiple studies online which are increasing that the usage of pornography is wrong for you and has the same effects on your brain as literal drugs. You can effortlessly get addicted to it and break your perception of real life interactions or relationships. There's a reason why porn is a taboo discussion and it should stay that way. You are a goddamn weirdo if you broadcast it publicly and nothing can change my opinion on that. For him to sit here and write it off for whatever reason, whether to spite Ruben even further or to cope with the fact his girlfriend draws it, is insanely harmful. His video has many more flaws I can delve into, but those are the main three I wanted to touch upon. And then, after Parlo uploaded a video and talked about his matter about the situation, you should mostly doubt the legitimacy of Gone Fishing's words. His community, including his girlfriend, does what he accused Ruben of. And my opinion on Parlo from two months ago has not changed. I still think he sucks. But I'm not always biased and can respect facts when they're on the table. The last bit is more lighthearted and will be short. Moist Critical, Charlie changed his Elden Ring video title from easy to hard. I'm not going to sit around and call him a sellout or any other insult. It's really not that big of a deal. But it would have been funnier if he just quadrupled down and said something like, Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree is the easiest game I ever laid my hands on, or something to that effect. This part of the video is more so to the losers who cried about the original title and made him change it in the first place. Please get a life, deactivate your x.com account like I have, stop complaining all day, do some jumping jacks or any other exercise, and get your balls up. This is Spano the Zombie Killer. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.
That's after, you know, after viewing that first episode, the original plan was to be like, nah, he dies. You know? <laughs> yeah, I, I can see why. Like, yeah. They, they try to make him annoying. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he almost dies in the first episode. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah. It's off the show and hear it. Yeah, yeah it is. And then, yeah, because I think when the show was coming out, there was, a, there was another show. I think there was like a lot of people when they were originally going to make the show a lot of concern, but they thought the show was going to be like the show of the same kind of thing. Right. Yeah, but then it turned out to be, um, yeah, I mean, one of the best t-shirts. Yeah. Um, very <laughs> iconic role of Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering because I don't think it did, like, properly pop off the popularity after the first season. It, it felt I mean, like yeah. it was, like, three seasons in. I started watching two seasons in. Yeah. And the hype around, like, weekly around the final season. Yeah. Immense. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember every week. Yeah. So it's completely finished now? Yeah. yeah, it's completely finished. So five seasons. Five seasons. Very dense, okay. you know. It's yeah. uh, a complete story and a definite ending right. as well. Cool. Um, yeah, yeah, fuck yeah! yeah I really <laughs> like more than I thought I was going to. Like I, I again, I had a feeling I was yeah. going to enjoy it. That was fun. It's just peak. Yeah, it's just fucking peak. It's just, yeah. fucking peak. It's just so <laughs> good. Amazing story. <laughs> okay, um, I guess I'll go next then. All right. Um, let's do a uh, movie or TV show. So, so finally. Watched Lord of the Rings. Let's go! Fellowship of the Rings <laughs> all of the way through. I can't believe it took you this long to watch it. I can't believe it took me this long as someone who likes fantasy. Yeah, right? <laughs> to watch it. Did you like it? Yeah, it's fucking great. Yeah, hell yeah, dude! Oh, my, um, heart, my heart stopped beating. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought he was gonna be like. <laughs> and push the throttle. You know, I think I'm I think I'm kind of glad because um Very lore heavy. It is so lore Very heavy. Lore yeah. heavy. And I I I, I I think I remember watching like 30 minutes when I was like younger at my cousin's house and it just seemed so fucking boring, right? Because I was it's like- It's a lot of talking there's, there's to me anyway. There's a lot. I'm just like, I'm just like, who the fuck, what is it, Mr. Frodo? What, what, why the fuck do I care about this? It's a ring, where, where are the action? Where are like the fighting and shit? The fucking world building and war is, it's, it's insane to think how old this is and just how big of an effect this has just had on pop culture oh, yeah. whenever the hell he wrote the first one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, when, when, did, when did the original Lord of the Rings come out? Because... Uh, 50s or 60s, I think. I thought it was early. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think, I thought it was like the 30s or something like that. That's <laughs> oh, 1950s, okay, okay. It was, I don't know if he was still alive. But he oh. released The Hobbit. Which yeah. is the same world. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you released the Hobbit in the film. Yeah. Okay. Which is the prequel to Lord Yeah, which the prequel to Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Just like seeing so like I guess the origin of so many of these fantasy creatures. Because I like I know that, for example, a lot of this is taken from, you know, European mythology. Uh, yeah, or, yeah, but a lot of our images of what these like what they fantasy, like like, yeah. like what these you know yeah. come from Tolkien's interpretation yeah. of these mythical beings, mm. and it's insane to think how much power this this single story has had or this single world has had for our perception of just modern fantasy and just fantasy in general, like wizards having pointy hats or like like things like that. Um, so I was just like so intrigued with this world, even though even though all of these genres have been, you know, portrayed to death in modern fantasy. It's interesting still this day seeing the depth of this world's characters as well. Yeah. Um, Who's your favorite? Damn eyes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Frodo! Mr. Right. Frodo! Oh man, I need a best friend like Sam, yeah. man. That the, the scene at the end when when Frodo just gives up on everyone, he's like, nah, I need to do this by myself. And Sam is like, no, Mr. Frodo, don't leave me. I'll, I'll come with you. I'll come with you. And I'm like, oh man, what a real G. That's a real G. Oh he's, man, he's the what? Goat, man. yeah, he's like, Sam's the goat in the story. <laughs> he's, he's it's not about him, but he's always there helping. Yeah, he's so fucking likable and. You know, a lot of this, a lot of the fellowships, fellowships of the ring, is just a lot of setting up the world, setting up the conflicts, and talking as well. And I thought I would get bored through a lot of it, but a lot of, uh, but most of it now I've grown an appreciation of just like the wider world, just because there are like so many, 
so many fucking characters, it was hard to get a grasp on every single one. But they did a really, really good job at just setting up the banter and the chemistry between everyone. Like, I love Gimli. Gimli. Gimli, <laughs> Gimli, Gimli, I felt was like the comic relief character yeah. of everything. But like Layla's was so like brooding and sexy and like good at archery and then- Yeah. Let's fucking let's, 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 let's go. Let's go. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, because like out of every out of everything that I watched or played, this you know, uh, you shall not pass. I was I was I was gonna get okay. to that. So <laughs> I, I, I obviously know the iconic scene. I've seen yeah, that yeah, iconic scene yeah. out of context. So I thought there was so many. I, I, I would admit there were a lot of scenes in Lord of the Rings where it was like a fucking meme moment, and I, <laughs> half of my watch through was just going. Wonders, oh, wonders oh, not simply. Yeah, yeah. Wonder, <laughs> wonders not simply just walk, just head to Mordor or whatever. And the, the other thing was like Gandalf being like, I have no memory of this place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that one. Yeah. I forgot that one. And, and I, it was like a really serious moment where you're like, yeah. oh shit, they're fucked. Yeah. And he said that, and I just fucking, I just laughed. <laughs> I just so I was, I was scared that because. When, uh, when I think it's the Balrog or the I forgot the name of the the, the creature. At least I think it is the Balrog. The Balrog or something. I think it's Balrog. Uh, I can't remember the exact name of the fucking fire demon creature. Yeah. So when they started running for that, I was like, oh shit, oh it's coming, yeah. it's coming. And pop culture, and I had seen the scene that I was like, it's, it's probably not gonna hit. It's, it's, it's probably not gonna hit as hard. It's, I, I, know, I know it's epic, but it's probably yeah, Balrog. Not, that's Balrog, it. that's it. And uh, see. Bro, Serene McKellen, he put his fucking <laughs> yeah. soul in that line. He did not have to go yeah. that hard. I realized that he said it like a few times before that line yeah. where, where he was like, you shall not pass. You shall not pass. And then he fucking whips. <laughs> he you fucking shall not pass. <laughs> yeah, he goes in. Bro. He goes so, so yeah. in. He parries this fucking attack and then he drops that. He's I'm fucking shaking, man. Holy shit. Such a good scene. Yeah. And then unfortunately, like he dies right afterwards. Um, yeah, and then I want to see like, your, your reaction. Yeah. I'd love to see your reaction. I'd love to see your reaction. It's literally like the last 10 minutes, right? The first movie. Uh, yeah, it's literally right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I don't know how I reacted to this because uh, I might have been just so immersed. Oh, can't you look so sad? <laughs> <laughs> you look so sad. Oh, oh no, oh. you look distraught. <laughs> what the heck? I can't believe they just did that to my boy. Yeah, so um, it was like after that that I actually like, it's those moments why I fucking love media where I'm like, I'm, I'm not much of a reactor. I'm more of like a, yeah, like in internal. <laughs> Fuck yeah, me, yeah, that was yeah, um. So yeah. that's how. That's my biggest praise, Lord of the Rings. You could see how emotionally, lo emotionally locked in. And then when he died, I was like, oh fuck, I'm just, I'm like, I'm like feeling emotions now. Yeah. Um, and I, I love the, like, um, the battles, like when they fight all those knights. And, uh, like, don't be dark, this is going to die. Um, Bor Boromir. 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 Yeah, Boromir. Yeah. I, so I love yeah. that. As a kid, that was the most high fight. I yeah. had the game where you, did you play the PS1 game. No. This is a game you have to fight like 100 knights in the PS1 game. Oh shit. Oh shit. So, oh, shit. Yeah. so hard. <laughs> Yeah, oh, man, I had man, I'm sorry, tell me that is such a good yeah. time. It just made me, especially watching the "You Shall Not Pass" scene. It just made me sad that I couldn't get to experience this in that theaters. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, me too. If yeah, they, yeah. If they released it in Japan again in the theaters, I'd go to half of Yeah, because I like, even though I knew that scene, I didn't know a lot. No, so you didn't know that scene. I didn't know the context. It, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with Gandalf as well. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, you. you Spoiled a little bit. About yeah. Gandalf. Yeah, but I, I mean, I, surprisingly, it didn't matter yeah. at all because it's it's, it's not going to change the hype. No, no. When 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 when, <laughs> when, when he yeah, dies yeah. after like doing that, I, I I felt genuinely sad. Even yeah. though like I knew it was. Yeah, we saw it. <laughs> <laughs> you looked distraught, bro. You look little, bro. Looked distraught. No, you could see. Look, when I am not a YouTuber anymore, I am a child experiencing this fantasy story. As you should. It's a great story. Yeah. And I, I feel bad because I don't really have many reactions to watching Lord oh. of the Rings. It just me because I like halfway through I had like the lights flaring, I had my contacts yeah. on, and I was like, I don't want to do this. So I, I like turned. I, I turned. That's why it was like dark. Yeah. Because I, I turned. I turned the lights off. I put my glasses on because I was like, I, I just want. I just yeah, want to. No, no, yeah. I just want to be me. No, 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 I respect. That. And um, yeah, I'm very. I, I told Sydney I was watching Lord of the Rings, and she was, and for some, somehow she didn't know I hadn't watched Lord of the Rings. Yeah. I guess we never had this conversation before. Oh, she just assumed, so she was like. All right, well, I got this weekend's plan. I, I have this weekend's plans. Uh, weekend? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you should. Yeah. It's yeah. so good. I mean, it's it makes me sad, like I said, that I can experience it in theaters, but it, it's still great. It's still, it's, great. it's still fucking fantastic, even through. Even it didn't feel like three hours. 
I thought it would. I thought it definitely would. Yeah. But it just did not feel like three hours at all. Yeah. Yeah. Really okay. yeah. They played pretty well, I hope. I'm, I'm holding that. Yeah. So they, they played the Godfather recently. I watched that. Oh, it, that all the time. Yeah, yeah. It'll be, it'll be amazing to watch this in theaters. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh. oh. So you like it. So far, we all like stuff. Well, maybe for you. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of half off on Fear yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew you weren't going to like yeah. it. So no, I'll there's lots I appreciate that. about it, but yeah. So far, though, we all like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah we, all, we all know each other pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> right. I guess. Uh, what do you want me to talk about next? Yeah, talk about your, uh... I want to hear your thoughts on Dark Side. Yeah, go on. You want to hear my thoughts on Dark Side? I want to hear your thoughts go on, on Dark Go on, go on. This, this is probably going to be... the only time we are ever going to hear yeah, a, a succinct review of an this album is... from C Dog VF. This is probably going to be a very short segment because I'm seeing Joe. That's what I. <laughs> I, I was like, you know what? I gotta appreciate just the music. Yeah. Oh, so no, I, put yeah. A, I put a blindfold on and I just listen. Oh no, that is yeah. the best way to do it. So I, I didn't know when the songs were changing, mm -hmm. which was really annoying. Because I was well, not annoying, but it was nice. Yeah. Sometimes I can tell. Yeah. 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 Uh, so Dark Side of the Moon. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> I, I what did you like about it? I liked when they actually sang. There's a lot of songs <laughs> where they didn't do that. Yeah. I feel like you need to be on some kind of substance. <laughs> oh no, 100% you need to be on drugs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was like. I remember like Dark Side of the Moon because it's all like one song or Pretty it's much. like two songs, right? Pretty yeah, much. it's like the entire album flows into each other. Yeah. yeah. Well, the first song was just like... like just yeah, it was... Yeah, it was basically... It was an amalgamation of all of the noises you are about to hear for the next four minutes. So uh, when I finished, mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I remember the ones I liked. Mm -hmm. And I looked at the list and I was like, oh, the ones I liked are all the ones that have like 10 times the plays of the other songs. <laughs> <laughs> Like, so, like so let me guess, time, money? was scary for me, where I was like, I don't think I'd listen to this. Like, this feels something like my dad would try and convince me is super cool and hype. I mean, it, and this I, is like the most dad album yeah, of all time. Yeah, and I'd be like, all right, dad. And like, yeah. there are some good songs. Yeah. Well, it's a 50-year-old album. No, I know, yeah, it was like 1974. Yeah. Yeah, 73. Yeah. Three. yeah. Was, and it, like, again, and I, 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 when I was listening, I was like, I could picture the time when this came out. Mm -hmm. yeah. I could imagine this being like, like the part of its time of like, really matches the energy of the 70s. Mm. Yeah. You know? Um, but yeah, I, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess you didn't like uh, on the run or uh, see I don't know I don't know which song's which. <laughs> the one before time. I don't know. The I one just, that sounded like a dude on the run. Yeah, there was there was one that was like a helicopter sound. Oh yeah, that's yeah. on the run. Oh yeah, yeah. That was, yeah, I mean it was strange because I was trying to figure out what the story was. Yeah. yeah, I was trying to figure out like what was the like the the premise of the album. Yeah, so I, I didn't I had no idea. It's like life, isn't it? Well, the the premise of the album is basically so there's a bit of backstory to this uh, album. So this album came out when uh, Sid Barrett, who used to be a member of the band, he left yeah. uh, because he was had a lot of mental issues. Right. Um, and so to deal with those mental issues, he left the band. And he was a massive part of the club. Like, he was the found, one of the founding members of the club. Yeah. Um, this is an album basically that, I mean, there's lots of ways you can interpret this album, but one yeah. of the main interpretations from what I've seen and how I like to describe it is it's a it's a uh, an album to describe the mental hardships that people go through in day-to-day -day life and how some people learn to get over it and how some people learn to live with it mm. and that no like there was no right or wrong answer to do it. so mm. like that's why like for example you know like in the song like time for instance yeah. there's like a lot of lyrics talking about like you know um are you wasting time are you using your time effectively yeah. you know is, is time time is important after the time is precious after it's always gone yeah you know and like in the case with money for instance money is like a great song because it describes like money in all sorts of different yeah. ways how it's the root of all evil it's it's bad it can be good capitalism Capital <laughs> capitalism capitalism you know? yeah. um and like uh and you know i think so what did you think uh, my my favorite track of dark Souls is uh thank you Great gig in the sky. sky. That is a beautiful life. Don't learn in life. And that at the end of the day, the world isn't going to stop just because you're in a particular predicament. Or it's not going to stop. It's just going to keep going uh, regardless of where you are in life. So you just have to learn to live that. Yeah, I feel like it would be hard for me to figure some of that shit out. Yeah. It definitely feels like I need to listen multiple times. Like one mm -hmm. time listening to an album is not enough to figure it out. Yeah. Um, I did, I did, it was a good vibe. Mm -hmm. I just think like, maybe I was like, man, I just can't think I can this mm -hmm. But I, I did enjoy it. Though. To I be fair, it's not my favorite Pink Floyd album. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But it is, you know, it's it is. It's like one of the most famous ones. It is one of the most celebrated. Um, yeah. And, you know, it's, for the if you think about it, like just listening to the sounds of this album, it's crazy to think that they managed to create these sounds. I mean, yeah. I, yeah, I like the money. 
I like that they're all using like, oh, yeah. cash sounds yeah. for like the back of the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sampling of the cash. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Register gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My problem with money is that it's been used in like so oh, many moves. Yeah. Oh, oh, what's uh, just kind of a constantly vibe situation for me. I just yeah. feel a whole lot of um, powerful emotions. More so like a kind of relaxed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just kind of relaxed. Yeah, just very relaxed. That's yeah. 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 Uh, there's not much else to it. I mean, as you, I mean, if I open it, I'll just come up slowly. <laughs> so, like, just, yes. so, so, just, <laughs> bro, just oh. fell asleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, it looks like I think I'm falling asleep. Your fucking face is <laughs> yeah. Why the fuck does it, like, not. Why the hell does it. I guess it stopped recording after a while. I'd be corrupted. Yeah, 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 I mean, it was it was, uh, it was good. I, I I liked it, but I just don't think I did it again. Mm. Yeah, but there's no slant on that. Just not my style. Really. Yeah, oh, that's fair. That's fair. What, what? Does your dad like it? My dad does like it, but it's not his favorite Pink Floyd no. album. I can imagine getting into this like my dad told me about it as a kid. And yeah, kind of it, but I think it's now. I, don't know. I mean, my dad uh, showed me Floyd like when I was very little. Uh, I think that would definitely help. Like, yeah. yeah, getting a little more invested. Yeah, in I can yeah. appreciate this album. I think, but I I do think that it is in some sense a little overhyped um just you know i mean it was it's an incredible piece of music don't get me wrong but i think in terms of like the, the band making like a musical statement i think there are better albums out there yeah. i think the wall is better i i don't, I, see, I don't know what album i could even listen to that i'd be like wow i walked away feeling that like, i don't think there's anything oh, I, I think i, I think for I me I just, it was the wall like, yeah, I mean, I think uh, the thing about just music or um, art in general is that a lot of times you have to be in the right place. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not there. Yeah, it's, it's like you know, it's it's art is about communication, yeah, communicating a feeling or an idea or something. Yeah. A lot of times, if you're just not in the right mental space to, especially in some of the, these deeper pieces of media, mm -hmm. if you're just not in the right mental space to just be like, yeah, just put to see something entertaining, you know, yeah. you're just not going to get the message, and that's fine. Yeah, that's, that's fine. fine. That's, that's totally fine. fine. Um, because sometimes in all that happen in your life, maybe you're searching for something and you watch it. and you watch that one thing that makes you have that realization that like you wouldn't have had maybe like Oh, there have been many instances where I've listened to an album for the first time and it didn't hit me as hard and then I've listened to it again after a certain period of time and it affected me. Yeah. You know, so I think I think that's very that's very fair. It's all subjective at the end of the day. Sorry, I can't <laughs> no, it's all good. At least, hey, at least you gave hey, it a try. You That's gave it a matters. try. You yeah. gave it a try. Oh, yeah, I'll take a, I'll take a strong zero. <laughs> yeah, take, a strong, yeah, take a couple strong <laughs> zeros. Zero. Uh, yeah. About, so, what else did you consume? Yeah. Um, so, wow. the other thing I consumed was... <laughs> should we talk about it? Arcane? I watched Arcane. Arcane. Yes! Yes! I watched the first episode of Arcane, finally. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Arcane. Uh, I watched Arcane. Uh, I just see your face, by the way. <laughs> well, that's, I that's, think that's like mid-stretch. That's, that's not a good sign. Um, Is he smiling? <laughs> okay, please, Joe, smile. Oh, oh God. No. Oh, oh, God. Every, oh, God, every frame is just falling. Well, no, okay, here's the thing. I actually didn't talk a lot during yeah, Arcane yeah. because I actually wanted to focus in on the story because yeah, obviously there's a story there. Yeah. Um, yeah, obviously, <laughs> the said, obviously there's a obviously story there's there. Obviously there's a story there, right? Yeah. So, and because I have absolutely zero knowledge on anything League of Legends, right? Yeah. I'm like, I'm looking at all this for the first time. Like, I don't yeah. know who the fuck it is. Um, look, I'm, I would like to think it gets better off the episode. <laughs> Does it? What's, what's wrong with episode what's, what's one? What's wrong with nothing, episode one? nothing wrong with episode one, but okay. I think it wasn't the strongest episode. So describe what happens in episode yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, okay. So episode one begins with uh, I assume what it, who is eventually gonna become Jinx. In this yeah. case she's called Powder, I yep. think her name yep. was. Yeah, she does. And her big sister, forgot her name, Pinkhead Girl. Bye. Uh, Bye, that's it, yeah. So Vi and Powder, they're like on a they're like in a war-torn like town or something. Something's happened to their town or wherever they are. And I guess they've just like witnessed their parents dying to some like resistance group or something. Yeah. And Vi's like, I'm gonna fucking kill these NFs. Um and then it and then it's steal a bunch of I guess artifacts or treasure or something like that from some huge place. They're obviously from like a like a poor slum area. I got that immediately. Um yeah, so they, they ransack this dude's place. Uh, Powder picks up these like random blue crystals that she found in a chest or something. Yeah. Puts it in a puts one in her pocket. Accidentally drops one. Whoopsies, you know, so she basically just like terrorized bombs this place. Uh, they get chased down into the crowd. Yeah. Um, 
they, they make it back to safety. These goons, like, try to hug them, basically. Yeah. And in the pursuit of all of that, uh, Powder throws all of the treasure that they just ransacked into the river, essentially losing it. They fucked up the entire operation. Um, Vi's pretty pissed off. Everyone's pretty pissed off. The big guy... I don't know his name. There's too many bloody characters in this already. Um, basically, like, like, the mayor of where they live. I don't, oh, I, yeah, okay, I, I forgot yeah, yeah. the guy's name. Uh, nice big guy. Um, it's just like, hey, don't worry about it. At least you're, at least you're safe. At least you're whatever. Um, and then, I guess Powder loses confidence in herself. So they're like, she's useless. She can't do anything. She's evil. Um, meanwhile, Vi is like, nah, don't worry, you've got your own quirks, you've got your own strengths, you're a strong yeah. individual, we'll, we'll get out of here eventually. Yeah. Um, but then she's like, oh, actually, I saved one of the bombs, or the, the blue crystal things in, in my in my pocket. And then Vi's like, that's how we're seeing it. And then that's where the first episode is. So, I g look, I didn't get a whole lot of information from this first episode. Uh -huh. Visually and animation-wise, yeah. fucking good. <coughs> it looks and feels and moves yeah. Um, but in terms of story, I just don't think I got enough context in this first episode, and I'm sure from here on, we're gonna learn more about the story, more about the world and characters, but I don't know. I watched this after the first episode of Breaking Bad, so my my expectations were quite high. <laughs> you know? Yeah, maybe I fucked myself up with that. Yeah. So after the, after watching the first episode of Breaking Bad, this first episode of Arkham was just alright. And I was it like, hard. I mean, I, yeah, I have definitely break the bad first episode better. <laughs> yeah, 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 it is. It maybe is. Maybe should watch Arcane first. Yeah, maybe I should watch Arcane first. Yeah. I don't know, but um, yeah. And so just purely based on episode one, I just thought it was all right. Would you? Would you continue watching it? Maybe. Yeah. What? Okay. Here's the biggest thing that 